Hi everybody, and welcome to Leading Edge Detailing. We have a little bit of spare dry ice, so I thought instead of letting it just go to waste, let's have a little bit of fun and see what you can do with dry ice blasting. Uh, obviously we know it removes dirt from things, but I thought to myself, let's just grab random things that we can find and see what we can do. So here I have a BBS LM wheel, and it's pretty dirty on the inside, the barrel, so we're going to try our best to clean the inside of this barrel with dry ice blasting. We have a few greasy parts. And then one of the biggest things everybody asks me all the time is can dry ice blasting remove rust? So we're going to try on this rusty flywheel to, to dry ice blast it and see how much of the rust we can take off. We've got some old shoes. Um, yeah, curious, right? Let's see what we can do with dry ice blasting. And just this morning I was asked by a gentleman that we dry ice blasted the underbody of his Porsche have we tried dry ice blasting interiors? So, not very easy to see on this floor mat, but it is a bit dirty from a BMW M3. And then once we've sort of played around with those, we're also going to do a bit of dry ice blasting on the Toyota 86 behind me. That's getting uh, restored. So because it's going to get painted, we're going to do a little bit of experimentation on the paint, see if we can clean a car on the outside with dry ice blasting and see if it's going to damage any of the paint. So let's get stuck straight into it. Hopefully we have enough dry ice left to do a bit of everything. And uh, yeah, let's zoom in. So if you want to use a very, very, very expensive dry ice blasting machine to clean your shoes, it looks like it's successful. Um, a clear difference, even cleaned the fabric. So it even cleaned the, the shoelaces uh, very well. Um, and it doesn't look like it's damaged anything. It's definitely cleaned up the fabric really nice. There's no moisture or anything. It's just a little bit cold. So if you're wondering what dry ice blasting does to shoes. This is what it does to shoes. We'll move on to the rust. Okay, so our next test is rust. I have put the machine up to maximum power and we are using the, the um, more concentrated nozzle. So let's go. So I'm just going to stop the blasting here. As you can see, this is the half we did and this is the half we haven't done. There is still a lot of rust here, but it's definitely taken off the surface rust. So if I was going to comment about this machine's ability to remove rust, I would say you wouldn't use it to remove rust, only if there's any flaking surface rust. So. I'll do this part here quickly. I guess maybe with um, with a stronger compressor, we might be able to go a little bit more aggressive and remove this surface rust. But I would definitely say 
I wouldn't remove anything stronger than this. Okay, so BBS LM test, let's go. Let's check if we have enough dry ice, we definitely do. The next test is the floor mat and apologies for the noise in the background, uh, the Rev Up boys are unloading a Porsche GT3 cup car. Michael if you want to give the viewers a quick sneak peek and then back to here. So we changed the nozzle to the wider nozzle and I put the density of the dry ice down and what I'll do is I'll do I guess a line right in the middle and maybe this way. So. So let this thing um, just evaporate, that's just dry ice that's in there and we'll see how it looks like and then what I might do is maybe we'll just do the rest of it. A little bit wetter here because that's where we started there's a little bit of moisture in the in the air so you can definitely see this is clearer cleaner than that it's actually quite impressive how well it cleans fabric we might need to get some maybe cream colored floor mats one day to give it a try but i would definitely say it's cleaned the the floor mat very well again it's up to you if you want to use a $80,000 dry ice blaster to clean floor mats, but we don't, it can work on fabric now. It's the finale of this video, and uh, really curious to see if we can use dry ice blasting on paint, and at what point is it going to damage paint? So I'm going to, I have the pressure set on the highest, and then I'm using about 400 grams per minute of dry ice blast, uh, of dry ice on the micro clean. So let's do the paint on the bumper, then we're going to play around with the plastic trim, and do a little bit of work on the engine bay, maybe the glass, see what it does. So it's definitely hitting the paint. It's cleaning the paint. So you guys can't see this, but it's um, definitely 
cleaning the paint, but it's also pitting the paint. So uh, on this particular car, with this pressure, it is uh, damaging the paint. And this car is going to get completely restored. So I'm going to drop the pressure from 120 PSI down to 60. Let's see. And now there is almost no damage. It is still, depending on the angle that you hit it and what stone chips are already there, it is still very lightly damaging the paint. So let's drop it down to 30 PSI. which just shows how controllable this machine is. So it just shows you how controllable this machine is by dropping it down to 30 PSI. It's, uh, it's not damaging the paint, which is pretty damaged in itself already. Uh, let's do the plastic trims. Now I'm going to keep it at 30 PSI and then we're going to go up. actually cleaning it perfectly uh, even at 30 psi I wonder what's going to happen I'm pretty sure we're not going to damage this plastic trim anyway but don't even need to go up any higher uh, let's see what else we can do on this car let's do the guard just in case the paint on the bumper wasn't ideal let's do the guard so we're still at 30 psi and absolutely no damage to the, to the paint whatsoever. Um, I wonder if we can put the pressure up and get some, rid of some of these dots, which feel like they'll come off. So let's go from 30 PSI up to 60 PSI. So 60 PSI, no problem at all, and it looks like it's completely removed that contamination, but let's go back up to max power, which is 120 PSI, and see if it actually damages the paint. 120 PSI, let's go. So even at 120 PSI, the paint's not damaged, but now I'm going to crank up the concentration of the dry ice to maximum and see what it does. So this is maximum power for this machine, what we can run, maximum dry ice with maximum pressure. And let's see if we're going to damage the paint.
Okay, so I think we can safely conclude that the dry ice blasting is not damaging the paint, although I would not be using a dry ice blaster to wash a car from the outside. There is no pitting on this very old paint that I can see. Uh, this car has been sitting out here for a few years and you can tell from the dirt that's built up on it. Um, but yeah, it's completely paint safe, this machine. At, at the maximum, we can run it. Let's see what we can do to that mirror on maximum blast and then go to the glass and then wrap it up. So since I miserably failed to record the audio on the last recording, but it was too good not to use that, can you please uh, tell us how you felt when you realized that the dry ice blasting was better than steam cleaning? Um, I think the steam wasn't hot enough. <laughs> so we're using colder steam. <laughs> um, you, wanna, you wanna give it another go for the fans? We'll give it another go. I don't think so. Is it good? Yes. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, interesting. We did a few little different things from fabric to steel to paint. And to, summar to summarize it, I think it's a very gentle approach. It's not going to strip rust away. I don't think the dry ice blasting, especially with the machine that we have here, the MicroClean, Coljet MicroClean, is going to strip rust. Uh, I think in terms of cleaning though, it is a fantastic machine to clean. So um, as you noticed on the 8.6 behind me, you could see that the paint wasn't damaged on the fender, which was the genuine paint. Maybe the front bumper was repainted at some stage and it's not aging well, but the fender was definitely not damaged even with maximum power. Although I definitely wouldn't suggest you dry ice blast the car from the outside, unless you had a reason to. Um, it worked very well on plastic trims, even at low pressure. It worked very well on the mirror and on the glass. It surprisingly worked really well on the shoes. Um, I don't know what industry would use dry ice blasting when it comes to fabric, but it, it cleans shoes and it cleaned the floor mats really well. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see us dry ice blast, please let us know and we're more than happy to do a video about it. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.